I have finished smoothing out the, the putting green surface. Um, after going around it with the compactor and watering, um, probably about 10 cycles of that. Um, also to, to work in the right contours as you go around it, you notice spots that are a little bit low, a little bit high. Um, you wanna make sure there isn't anything too high so uh, it doesn't get scalped by the mower when you come around on it. Um, I tried a few different things, techniques on how to get things smoothed out because that compactor leaves, it leaves uh, tracks uh, on each side of the compactor. Um, and uh, what I ended up doing was just taking broom here and then taking that, uh, that yellow uh, plastic uh, kind of squeegee like side of the broom and just dragging it along, flattening things out and some of the sand will fill in on the low spots but it takes out the any of the ridges um, really then I, I ended up with a pile of sand which I just scooped up and uh, put in my my sand reserves pile so next step from here is seeding uh, so I got a drop seed uh, seed spreader and we'll go go through and get the right uh, uh, the right calibration for that, I think it's at uh, one or two pounds, one and a half to two pounds per thousand square foot, which I'm just a little over a thousand on this. So it's uh, seeding time, and uh, what I've got here is some Scott's Turf Builder starter for uh, for new grass, and then uh, two pounds of the Pencross bent grass seed. Um, if you look on the back here, the the Scots uh, using this drop spreader uh, says I need a setting at six for uh, three pounds per 1,000 square foot of application. The the bent grass seed is calling for a pound and a half to two pounds per thousand square feet. What I'm going to do is set. I'm going to mix these two together in it, just in a bucket, and I will. I'm going to set the drop seed spreader to three. Um, which which cuts that uh, that six and a half because I'm going to make a couple different passes um, or directional uh, drops as I seed uh, go one direction and then crisscross uh, go the other direction for smooth application. We'll mix this up and get started on uh, spreading it out. Okay, we got our three pounds of uh, the starter fertilizer. And I got here the Pencross Creeping Bent Grass Seed uh, from Seed World. Uh, ordered that online and uh, had it in a cool place for the past uh, month or two while I've been uh, getting this prepped. So, throw that in. Stir, the stir that around and uh, mix it up. And I'll pour it in the spreader and uh, we'll get to applying. So another thing we did, I don't know if you can see it too well there, turn this around, get it in the sun, is rather than that uh, that uh, early seed fertilizer mixture I used, which was really granule, I mixed this with sand, similar to what you might see in the, the golf divot repair bottle on a golf cart, and uh, I think this is going to mix much better, go down more uniformly. We'll uh, start putting some down. Okay, so we're about the right about the five week from planting mark after irrigation, fertilizer. It 
came in a lot more patchy than I thought. I think that was due to the the mixture with the the fertilizer I was I was putting down. I think what I'm going to do is do a overseed with this and put down uh, some more grass seed and see if we can't get some of these open spots to fill in. But the spots where it did come in, it's coming in really nice. Just about ready for a mow. Uh, I think I'll get this new grass seed started and uh, we'll see where the, the first mow comes in at. Okay, we'll give a shot of the freshly mowed. I got the blade set. Oh, that's about three eighths of an inch, quarter inch, somewhere in there. Um, when it all gets grown in, then I'll, re I'll really drop it down to that. I think the 3 16 is the target. Still a little more grass to come in. I think this is going to be the last mow of the year. Um, I did two prior to this. Um, and I think uh, we got some cold weather coming up here in the next couple days. So I wanted to give this a mow, get it ready. And uh, I think this will be it for the year. see the reseeded grass is coming in but I think it might finish up in the springtime so that was a fun project and I'll come and fix the borders this spring as well some New grass around the fringe. All right, we'll get one, one more look at it. This was a good project. It started in June, it's August 21st today. I think it was about June 15th we started. So, putting green 2020 done. What do you think of the putting green? I'm good. Yeah? Good. All right. Uh -huh. Done. <laughs>